Compared to the previous 12 months, 2016 saw an increase of almost 3% in the number of vessels calling at the Gibraltar port to refuel. This bunkering trade saw the total quantity of fuel delivered by the port increase by just under 2%. Vessels will stop at Gibraltar for, to refuel uh, for a bunker call. Uh, but apart from that, linked to that, there is a, a huge amount of services that do, we do provide in, in Gibraltar, that local operators do. Uh, ancillary services is very high up in the list, and, and that uh, goes from uh, stores, provisions, medical assistance, uh, anything that the vessel will require, uh, maintenance, repairs. Uh, it, it's all linked to the call that the vessel initially calls. Uh, makes at Gibraltar. Crew change is very important. Uh, we, we do a crew change practically on a daily basis. That means when a, when a crew needs to leave the ship, they need to be replaced by, an, by another crew, mm -hmm. and that is done. Uh, luckily, we've got an airport very close to the port, and that makes things very easy for us. The super yacht facility at the new Mid Harbour Marina contributed to significant growth in the number of super yachts calling at Gibraltar. This number was up 24% on 2015. Absolutely. The, uh, the advantage this year has been that we've got a new key site, the new uh, small boats marina, that offers about a 500 metres length of, of berthing facilities, in which uh, super yachts are, are taken up on that. And it's, it's very good to see that, uh, that these yachts are staying longer periods uh, uh, in Gibraltar to conduct, uh, conduct uh, maintenance, uh, repairs, uh, getting ready to, the, to cross the, the Atlantic before they go to the Caribbean and so on. So it's, yeah, that's a positive. And, and I'm happy to say that the uh, increase in that is quite significant this year from last year. The port's strong performance in 2016 is good news for Gibraltar's economy. With a continued drive to market the rock as a premier maritime hub in the Mediterranean, the Port Authority is hoping the next 12 months will see yet more growth.